We have a new screenshot to look at today, you guys. And oh my God, this looks amazing. There's so much to talk about. Let's get into the video. Camp Facer. What's going on campers? Camp Face It here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Today we're looking at the Slaughterhouse map. It looks like the exit where Drayton's uh, coming up behind Connie here. Let's read what Gunn had to say about this screenshot over on the official Twitter page and then we'll discuss. This climactic moment is where Connie's focused ability will come in quite useful. So what they're talking about here, you guys, is Connie has a special ability that allows her to pick a lock much faster at the cost of stamina and her family proximity warnings. Now what that means, you guys, is if she's going to use that ability, she's not going to be able to hear a uh, family member coming up behind her. So you got to pick and choose what you want to do with these abilities. But in this particular case, she's at the exit of the slaughterhouse. I would go for it and, and run for your life if I was Connie. Let's talk about how amazing the lighting looks and how real, how real everything looks here, you guys. Look at the, the dirt, the flowers, the fence, the sky. This looks awesome. I cannot wait. They're doing such a great job. And if we zoom in in, in here again, look at this. Game still in development, visuals not final. How is this not final? This looks friggin' amazing. Let's also talk about how this captures the Texas vibe and how how it also captures the abandoned slaughterhouse feel, like the old uh, rusted fence and the, the, the tipped over, like slanted uh, telephone poles that haven't been updated in God knows how long. Uh, let's let's zoom in here and one thing I noticed here in the front there's an old giant tube like a pipe maybe it was like uh, part of an underground pipe to the factory it's just sitting up here and I wonder if if you're a victim you can like go around the corner and go in the tube and, and like crouch down and hide and maybe you can like wait for uh, the gate to be open and then make a run for it or you could hide in here and if a family member goes up to attack Connie you can come up behind like uh, the cook with a bone shard and knock him down that would be a really cool uh, little thing you could do it here but I don't know maybe you can't do that uh, also I noticed if you zoom in here there's the green light now originally I thought that was like uh, showing that the electric fence was off because you guys do realize you can't just go outdoors and unlock a lock and run. To my understanding, you have to shut the power off to the electric fence. And if you don't, you get zapped, injured, and so on. But you have to do that and then you have to unlock the lock. So it's like a two-step thing. But here, she's touching the fence already and it's a green light. Now, wouldn't green mean that the electric fence is still on? So I'm a little confused because if it was off, I would think it's red. But maybe I'm wrong and I want to know if you guys, uh, what you guys think about that in the comment section below. And also, if you zoom in, it, it shows like a wire, a yellow, some kind of a yellow. What, what did I do? Oh my God. I just turned something on. What the? F this isn't Visage. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Why is Visage on? Oh, hold on. So if you also, if you guys look, there's a yellow wire or cord going across the driveway here now i want to say that that goes and powers up the electric fence so again i don't know if the green means it's on or if it's off again leave the comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that now also if you look off in the distance to the right hand side it says parking lot so we're in the parking lot entrance of the the slaughterhouse now, if you go over here, you see the sign to the slaughterhouse and it says H and H, which also stands for Toby Hooper and Kim Henkel. That's a cool nod to the director, producer of the, of the film. And off here, I don't know what this is. 
at first I thought it was like a road, like uh, 172 Quick Hill Road that leads to Quick Hill Road, but then it looks more of like a cloth. Maybe it's like uh, surrounding the perimeter. I'm not sure what that is because we have the fence here, but then on the other side, there's like the blue. Not totally sure what that is. So that's about it for today's video. That's all we have to talk about. And uh, I thought this week was gonna show a little bit more than just screenshots, but here we have another one that looks great. I can't wait for the game. It comes out August 18th. I cannot wait to play with you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. And I wanna say thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods.